New at 10 o'clock tonight, the president of Grand Canyon University says that the Biden administration is targeting the school. This comes after the Department of Education slapped it with nearly a $38 million fine over claims that it lied about the cost of its doctoral programs. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly here tonight with the details. Chase. That's right, GCU's president did not hold back how he felt about this situation, completely denying every single allegation made against the university. And when we asked him about paying that $37 million fine, this is what he had to say. We're not paying a dime. Um, we will fight this and we will fight this all the way. Grand Canyon University President Brian Mueller was not happy with that massive fine. After a recent investigation done by the Department of Education reportedly revealed GCU was lying to students for money. It's not logical. There's nothing logical about any of this. Federal officials released a statement Tuesday claiming they found more than 7,500 former and current students enrolled in GCU's doctoral program ended up paying ten dollars to $12,000 more than what they were advertised. It goes on to say GCU did this to attract students to enroll. But in the end, it harmed students, broke their trust, and led to unexpectedly high levels of student debt. That could not be further from the truth. No. Mueller denying all these allegations. If we were interested in making more money at the expense of students, we would raise tuition. Saying GCU goes beyond what is legally required. To this day, he said they have not received a single complaint from students about it. Why aren't students complaining that they didn't know? Because we tell them all over the place. He knew this was coming. The inflammatory language that they use in that announcement tells you everything about the animosity that they have about this place. Claiming the Christian University is at the center of a witch hunt by the DOE that has been going on for years. The GCU applied to be a nonprofit university, but were denied. Once we filed a complaint, the harassment started. The university now plans to appeal the decision, and Mueller said they will take it all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary. In Phoenix, Chase Golightly, 12 News.